Someone once asked me what my favorite varietal is, and that was a really hard answer to give because, of course, I love Cabernet Sauvignon. That's what I'm known for. But I'd have to almost say that when I have an amazing Merlot, it blows my mind beyond what a, an amazing Cabernet can do. So when I bought my vineyard on the slopes of Howell Mountain, I really wanted to showcase that terroir and make an estate wine. But when I bought the vineyard and I blended that fruit I, with, with other fruit from Pritchard Hill, Atlas Peak, uh, whatnot, it just made better blends. So then I was faced with a decision. Do I release a single vineyard wine, Rockwell Ridge Vineyard, and have that fly off the shelves? Or do I release the best blend possible? And that's what I did here with the Signature Mountain Blend. Every time, it, it was no question, every time I blended my vineyard fruit, which was planted in 1993, and all that fruit used to go to Duckhorn. When I blended that fruit with uh, the other volcanic terroir, it just was a night and day difference. I wanted to define the gap between St. Helena and Hell Mountain with my vineyard. So hopefully that'll be called Crystal Springs. That's a whole different story, but this is the closest wine I produce to be called a state wine. Most people don't understand Merlot. I think most people just assume it's this lean, light, flimsy wine. They don't realize how much power Merlot can have. So I'm trying to bring that style back that was uh, single-handedly killed by one film. And, and that's why this wine has been dubbed as the Petrus of Napa Valley. It's just so elegant and yet it contains so much character. You, if you were to taste this blind, you would not think it's a Merlot-dominated wine. So I make about 150, 200 cases of this every year. Really low production. I hope you enjoy my terroir.